Accompanied by the progress of life science technology, more and more researchers will use transgenic or knockout rodents as a tool to advance biology forward. Thus, mouse or rat genotyping will continue as a necessary but time-consuming task, exhausting both monetary and personal resources. Fortunately, the BioTool Mouse Direct PCR kit could provide a fast preparation and PCR amplification for mouse or rat genotyping. The tissue genomic DNA can be released in 30 minutes and is suitable to PCR reaction with the PCR mix from the kit. All reagents in this kit have been optimized for use together and any modifications or alternative uses are not recommended. For each step, make sure every reagent in this kit is mixed well prior to use. Mouse tail, ear, or toe can all be assayed with this product. For a single sample, prepare 100 microliters of fresh buffer L with 2 microliters of protease plus. You can also prepare a mixture and then make aliquots for each sample. After adding the mixture to the sample tube, submerge the tissue sample in the mixture and ensure that all air bubbles are dispersed and the tissue is completely hydrated. Next, incubate samples at 55 degrees Celsius for 30 minutes. During this tissue digestion step, shaking the tubes one or two times will be helpful to release the genomic DNA. After digestion, the protease in the solution need to be heat inactivated for five minutes at 95 degrees Celsius. The tissue may still appear intact after digestion, but extraction has occurred. Now, the tissue lysate can be used as a PCR template. For a PCR reaction, use the PCR mix, which includes an optimized tech polymerase, DNTPs, magnesium chloride, and loading dye. For best results, prepare the PCR reaction in an ice bath. The volume of each component should be added according to the recommended concentrations in the product protocol.
After the PCR reaction is complete, directly load samples into the gel and examine the results. Should you encounter technical difficulties, please feel free to contact Biotool directly.